They're gonna be so hella wrinkled when I get to Germany. It's gonna be ridiculous. Hmm. Literal, I could kill someone with this. This is like a literal rock. Like I could chuck this. My flight in 15 minutes, <laughs> but just one up. Hello, again. <laughs> I just realized, I don't think I filmed a proper intro, um, but I don't think I can. <laughs> so basically, I'm leaving for Germany for four months to study abroad um, at one of the German universities. And um, basically, this is the night before. It's like 1 a.m. right now. I just finished packing this huge bag. You'll see that in a second, how absolutely chaotic it was. Um, I'm here with my cat, Rizik. We're having a good time. It's way too hot in my room um, because I'm moving around so much. And yeah, basically we have a uh, limited time to finish packing right now. Um, I have these bags, which I'm going to vacuum and suck so that I can try and fit as much as I possibly can in these bags so that I don't die when I'm over there because I don't have any clothes. I don't want to buy any. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's get started. I have, everything is, okay, ignore the absolute disaster that the background is. My room isn't, it's just, it's horrible. I'm gonna be honest, but the thing is, I've taken everything out of my closet. It is now on my floor because I need to, to visualize it, to see it, to know that it's there. Um, let's hope, let's pray. Let's hope and pray that I can fit all of this in the suitcase that I have. I literally, I brought the largest suitcase from my basement. And we're gonna try, try our absolute best to fit everything in here. I also have, I bought this carry-on backpack from Amazon and we hope that we can fit everything we need. But yeah, let's just get started, I guess. Angle, we're gonna try and close this. I have about like my entire wardrobe in here. <laughs> Like, you know, I'm gonna try and do like three of these bags. The issue is I have like, you know, I have like four sweaters and like things that I want to bring. I'm just worried none of it will fit. So we're getting nervous. <laughs> it should be fun. <laughs> so we're here. So yeah, I'm just gonna see. My suitcase. If you're wondering why I'm wearing my pajamas, it's because I'm trying to lose um, laundry or anything dirty that I have to bring. So you still can't really see it. It's fine. I guess I just screw it on. <laughs> really well. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> this is my method of like, you know how people like stuff things, like fold it properly into their their suitcase so that it's smaller? This is my method of doing that. It's just throwing everything into a vacuum sealing bag and throwing it into my suitcase. <laughs> Look at how small it is. Wow, this is working. They're gonna be so hella wrinkled when I get to Germany. It's gonna be ridiculous. My arm. <laughs> oh, it, it was fine. And none of the air came out. Bag one, <laughs> complete. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my clothes are gonna be so wrinkly. I am confident I can fit everything in my bag now. That was, that was incredible. <laughs> Another angle. <laughs> The thing is, I'd love to bring like books or like things to enjoy, <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna have enough space and I'd rather like have to, you know, figure out other things when I'm there than like not have enough clothes from home. So 
I feel like I feel like one of those like Marie Kondo moms <laughs> that like use like vacuum sealers and like 18 step organizers and things like that. But you know what? I'm living for it because if it helps me get to, get to Germany with everything I want to bring, I'm here for it. I'm actually I'm starting to get nervous that it won't fit again. We don't like that. <laughs> We're not gonna bring this final sweater. We're just gonna leave this here because I don't wanna run out of space. Um, then I'll be added to another bag if I have room. I don't think I will because this is easily the biggest bag that should take up that much space. Maybe I'm getting too worried too soon. We'll find out. <laughs> like I know that, you know, when you travel, you pick up things and like bring them back, but I don't know, I've worn like, I'm not the kind of person that like gets new clothes very often. I'm, I wear my clothes for like 10 plus years. Like I've had the same clothes like all my life <laughs> since they've been able to fit. So getting new clothes for me isn't that common, especially because finding pants is somewhat difficult. I'm a little uh, overly tall. So <laughs> finding like long enough legged pants is very difficult. But maybe in Germany they'd have that. I don't know. Are people taller in Germany? I don't think so. I think it's about the same height as Canada. So. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm putting like two, two outfits in my carry-on bag because in my carry-on, and just in case, if my luggage gets lost, that's literally my worst nightmare. I know that sounds like really like first world problems, but like, I I love my clothes. I don't want to lose them. Well, I know most of the time they, they show up after like two days, the airport finds them. But I've been looking up like every night, like what is the chance that I'm going to lose my clothes at the airport? Like, And the thing is, I'm way more likely to lose them coming back to Canada because Pearson Airport is just infamous for losing luggage. So I, I should be good for the ride there. It's getting tight now because I need to bring a spring jacket, my winter jacket, and like sweaters, spring sweaters. I mean like not spring, but like summer transitioning into fall sweaters. <laughs> so mm, we hope that this will all fit. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments <laughs> and open these bags, which I don't wanna do, or put more in my carry-on, we'll find out. I'm currently trying to get winter coat to fit in here because if I can shrink it down, that'd be so good. Like I'm, I'm already putting away one of my sweaters. I'm gonna bring this one to the airport. I know it's gonna be burning hot, but um, what can I say? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I reassure myself. Uh. <laughs> wow, look at how much smaller that got. This has my winter coat in it. <laughs> That's my winter coat. <laughs> I can't. Will this close? I'm scared. Oh, I think it does. Okay, now it's just boots. Oh, boots. No. Okay, okay, okay. These are like little- I could kill someone with this. This is like a literal rock. Like I could chuck this. Close this up. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, everything else is gonna have to go in there. Heels. Crap. Should I just not bring heels? I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay, I have all my like- my carry-on stuff is also in here. So like, I brought this because it's like, I'm gonna try and sleep because God knows I'm not gonna be sleeping tonight. So, um, lots of these in case I'm sick in the four months that I'm there. Band-aids, because my hands are destroyed most of the time. <laughs> I wish I could vacuum seal this. No, that's not worth it. <laughs> Calculator. I already have one in my other bag. Will this fit? We'll find out. 
please. Cat is looking now. <laughs> Hi, Booba. <laughs> Close. Because <laughs> people ask me, like, a lot of people have been asking me, why don't you just get a second checked bag? I don't want to pay the extra $200. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> is that hurting me now? Yes. I also don't want to carry around two big luggages. Like, this is already heavy enough. Oh, it's so hot. I'm dying. <laughs> it looks like my carry-on bag is gonna be the shoe bag now because I couldn't fit any of I could only fit two of my shoes in here. How heavy is this gonna be? Holy crap, is it ever heavy? I hope it's not too heavy. We'll find out. Okay, we now have we managed to fill this this bag boy. He's good now. This is lots of stuff. If, if for some reason on my way back, I can't get everything into this, that bag, I can put some of it in here. <laughs> or my brother's coming to visit me. I'll just force him to take some of my clothes home <laughs> if I get more for some reason. I'm not bringing heels, it's official. I'm just not gonna bring them. If I have something special to go to, we're gonna be wearing running shoes or Converse. That's just how it's gonna be. Change of plans. We're gonna have to do some stuff because I realized this is uh, very overloaded. Um, I have the clothes that I'm supposed to put in my carry-on in case I lose this bag with all my clothes in it. This is literally like my entire life of clothes in this bag. So I'm gonna take out some of it. <laughs> And then, which we're gonna have to do the vacuum thing again. So cue the montage of pulling out stuff, putting it back in, vacuum sealing it again, and then putting it in my bag. Because the thing that's really bothering me is my winter coats. Coat, coats? I have like two. So we might have to remove some of those. <laughs> Let's get started. I was able to fit everything into three bags. So I cut out one bag. Um, I don't regret it because uh, now I'll have more space. So, and it won't kill my back. I'm kind of sad because I really wanted to bring these pants, but if they fit, they fit. If they don't, they don't. I'll put them on a carry-on if they fit. But otherwise I can now fit my shoes. <laughs> so we can now start stuffing this thing. Let's see how much I can fit. Oh, we have some space. We're okay. Huh. That's funny. I have this bag. I bought it for this trip. And it's supposed to be 40 liters, but I can fit more into this bag. My really old soccer bag. I don't know which one I'm going to bring, because I use this for school. I'll figure it out. I have to haul these bags downstairs. Okay, see you tomorrow morning. Hello, it is currently the next morning. Um, I'm leaving for my flight in 15 minutes, <laughs> but just wanted to update my luggage bag. I didn't check last night how much it actually weighed. So I had like a breakdown this morning because I'm like, oh, this is like 200 pounds and it needs to be like 70 pounds. So I put on the scale 60 pounds. We're good, but I was terrified for a second there. 
next time I see you, I'll be in Germany. I'm going to have a breakdown at the airport at least one time. Um, but thanks for watching this video. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one when I'm in Germany. Bye.